Hello and welcome to Quinity by AC. My name is Anne Kristen and I'm going to take you through this Tabata and lower body session today. So to start with the Tabata session, we're going to work for 20 seconds. We're going to have 10 seconds off. We're going to use burpees and we're going to use narrow jump lunges for the two exercises. And we're going to alternative between those two. When we do Tabata, we have to work hard. So if you're just new into this, you might want to go a little bit slow and work yourself up because we are going to work so we get very short of breath. That's the whole idea about the Tabata sequence. So we're only going to work for four minutes, but it's going to be a tough, hard working four minutes. When we're done with that, we're going to grab a chair and we're going to do a lower body session consistent of four exercises. And we're going to work for 40 seconds work and 15 seconds for the next exercise, focusing on our glutes and our lower body. And uh, first, to begin with, it's uh, very important that you have done some kind of warm-up. If you get need some inspiration, you can find the link below on the top of this uh, video and you can find a warm-up on this channel. So make sure that you're ready to work hard. So just get yourself going with a exercise math. Grab a chair for the workout after the Tabata. I have my interval timer here and I'm going to set it for the 20 seconds work and the 10 seconds work. And when we're all working and we feel it's very hard, we're supposed to feel that it's hard, but it's, as I said, only four minutes. So get yourself ready, get something to drink and sweat with me. So we're going to start out by doing burpees. Burpees is a great exercise. It might be a hate love exercise, but it's very good because it's are just moving your whole entire body. Take care. The burpees we're going to do today is not going to be with a push up. It's just going to be jumping straight up, going back down to the plank position and fast up again. So we're all focusing on getting the, that pulse up and going. I have my interval time timer set here for the 20 second. It's going to count down from 10 and then we're just going to work hard. So burpees alternative with the narrow jump lunges. Make sure you work as hard as you can but feel your way and as I said in the beginning if you're new to this just go a little bit slower and you will get there by time I promise you but first of all just have the motivation and we are gonna get through this together I'm gonna put this to a start we're gonna count down from eight to ten seconds and we are ready to do the burpees three two one and get up and down back up again so no burn no push up just the getting out and getting back up again only for 20 seconds get yourself up tighten that core engage your pelvic floor and keep going that was the 20 seconds we are now going for the narrow jump lunges three two one and get up and down heavy breathing in and out shoot yourself up go down keep your legs bended don't touch your hands to the floor by bending your leg knees but bending your legs four seconds for the burpees again. Come on, let's go. No push up. Straight out and straight up again. <sighs> Breathing in. It's supposed to feel hard. <sighs> you feel your way, and I feel my way. <sighs> Here we go. We are ready for the narrow jump lunges. Three, two, yep, let's go. Keep going. Let me hear your heart breathing. Supposed to be hard and challenging. Come on, let's go. Yep, almost halfway. Actually, we are halfway. Engage my core, pelvic floor, get going. Out and back up again. Lift yourself up, get back. Yes, ready. 
ready for the narrow jump lunges. And let's go. Feel it. Show breath. Do it as good as you can. Keep that chin in. Alignment up. Don't bend your back. Bend your knees. Here we go. Ready for last time of the burpees. Let's go. Out and back up again. Straighten out. Engage your core. And work with me. Oh, just four minutes and we're done. Yup, one to go. Narrow jump lunges. Two, one. Hang keep, hang here with me. Bend those legs. Go down, not head down, buttocks down. Remember your pelvic floor. Your core, work for us. Five seconds, breathing, and we are done. No doubt about that, with that high sound of the beep. Very good. Get a well-deserved something to drink. You should have messy hair. Maybe you smell a little bit of sweat by now. It's all nature. You can have a bath afterward. Great job. Amazing how four minutes of fun just can fly by. Okay, so we are ready. Go and grab your chair. We're going to work for 40 seconds and 15 seconds for the next exercise. Four ex exercises, one after each other, three rounds all together, and then you have been doing a great job. It might be hard, but we're going to work short. Much better for your body. Build it up, not tear it down. So go and get that chair, and we are ready. All righty, we are ready. We have a chair. I have my timer set for the 40 seconds work and the 15 seconds for the next exercise. Make sure that your chair is placed somewhere where it's safe and you're not gonna tilt over. So you have to look after yourself. I will guide you and I will help you, but you have to feel it. So we are ready to get the timer going for the first exercise. The first exercise, we're gonna place one leg on top of the chair seat, we're gonna go down. Make sure when you go down, you keep your knees behind and your knee behind your toe so you don't go further over your toe. Much more protective for your knee. So we are ready, get this thing going, counting down from 10 seconds. All about feeling in your standing leg. Three, two, and go low. If possible, go down and make a 90 degree angle in your standing knee. Engage your core, your pelvic floor. It's easy when you're moving your hands in front of you when you go down and lift yourself up. On the top here on the straight leg, you have to squeeze your buttocks. So up and go down. Use your core muscles to keep yourself in an upright position. Lift yourself up and enjoy feeling it in your standing leg. Here we go. We're gonna lay down on your mat, placing your heels on top of the chair, lying down here, and we're gonna lift up, lifting one knee at a time, alternative. Relaxing your neck and your head and tighten that buttocks. So lift yourself up. Maybe it's more than enough to be here. What is important is that you feel the good quality and you feel your buttocks muscles working. So a very good exercise if you want to hit your butt 
but not necessarily a lot of legs. Lifting, go down, engage your core pelvic floor. Good time to practice some pelvic floor work. Lifting up, going back down and do the same amount on each leg. We are going back up, changing direction here, putting the other leg up in a good straight position. We're going to go up and down. So just exactly as we started, just the opposite leg now. Go down to a 90 degree angle in your standing leg. Squeeze that buttocks. Yes, the glute maximus is a bigger, biggest muscle in our body, but sometimes it's also the most relaxed and lazy part. So it's not gonna happen just moving up and down. You have to feel it and you have to squeeze the muscle, lifting up and down. Very good. We're gonna lie down here on our chair arms in front here, bending those knees, keeping your feet together, going down here, looking down, lifting up, and squeeze your buttocks muscle. So up, and when we're moving upwards, we are moving our knees out to the side in an abduction. So lifting up, and we're up here on the top, you should be able to feel it all the way up here where the muscles are coming from. Tighten your core so you don't irritate your lower back. Engage your core muscles. I know I say it a lot, but sometimes we tend to forget. Lifting up, going back down very well. And then we're gonna go for the next round. So starting with the first exercise with your right leg in on standing on your right leg going down so block still working here on round number two out of the three rounds bending leg bending arms getting up looking proud lifting yourself up remember to squeeze that buttocks engage it Feel your inner thigh when you're pressing down your foot in your exercise mat. Lifting up, breathing in, and feel it. It's gonna feel so good when we're done. It feels good while we do it, but then again. Alrighty, go down on your back. Put those heels on top of the chair. Put them in a good safe position. Shoulders down, neck relaxed. And we're gonna move up and lifting one leg at a time. So this is the buttocks that needs to be used when we are lifting up. And maybe you just wanna stay down here and have both heels on your chair. All depending on you. And again, feeling your muscle is the most important. And relax your face. And leave all the work for your core muscle and your buttocks. Lifting, going back down again. Only two legs, going the same amount on each leg. Here we go, getting up. And the other leg, turning around here, putting the opposite leg on the chair. Three, two, get yourself up in a straight alignment. Lifting, squeeze that buttocks. Go down and move yourself backwards so you don't get your knees stinging out of front of your foot. Go back down and up again. Use your breathing, new energy as you breathe in and breathing out. Feel your way. Go down for another 10 seconds. Let that leg just hang out loose. Using this one inner thigh, buttocks, your whole leg. Here we go. We're gonna lay down on our chair. 
arms in front, so secure, we don't slide down, bending those knees, feet together, looking down, engaging our core, lifting and lower again, squeeze, and if you've been sitting all day, you might want to be here just a little bit, so you can feel those glute muscles working up and do the abduction so on your way up you take your knees out up to the side <sighs> engage your core pelvic floor lifting going back down again for another five seconds lifting lowering yes very good one last round and we have our standing on our right leg getting that left knees up on the chair and get ready for the last sequence here standing on your right leg so get that knee back don't go forward go backwards with your buttocks lifting up breathing feeling it ah just one step closer to a good firm butt what's not to like lifting up and engage your core you might as well use the most of your body while you are moving yep here we go lying down ah, sounds almost too good to be true and it is because of course we're gonna work when we're down here getting ready to lift up so go up press that heel press that heel down in the chair relaxing your face smile you're here you have your clothes on and you have yourself going so positive thinking i don't know anybody who's ever regret a workout but i can tell you i know a lot of people who have regret not doing a workout so lifting up going back down again feel your way up and down that's good so changing to the other leg get the leg up on your chair put yourself in a good position for good quality work here so as time goes by we might want to use H as an excuse not to work hard but no 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 as old as we get it's important to stay in shape fight all these different things that can come along with sore back and irritated neck I work as a physiotherapist and believe me the people I see in my daily work is not people who work out a lot so that could be the first step of getting yourself in good shape just get yourself tuned in and willing to do the job and the work and lifting up I'm not gonna tell you that it's gonna be easy but it's absolutely gonna be worth it believe me feel your way lifting up so getting in shape or staying in shape is not just about looking good it's definitely about feeling good lifting go back i have a lot of friends who are in much better shape than their own children so you can do it age is not an excuse here we go that was the last exercise so stopping this one i think here we go and get something to drink ah so probably you'll feel your buttocks by now that's the whole purpose of it. Get something to drink. 
So getting good shape does do not need to take a lot of time. You can do it short and hard. And that's what I really want to tell about this channel here on Quinergy, that you can work hard and you can stay in shape and it doesn't matter how old you are, it's never too late to get started. It all starts up here. So we've been doing the good Tabata workout with a lot of pulse and heavy breathing and we've do, been doing a lot of buttocks work, efficient and short and I wish you good luck and I hope you will come and visit me here on lots of more videos here on Quinity. So hopefully you will subscribe if you feel you get something out of it and buy from me and take good care. Bye.